Hey everyone, my name is Lanza90, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. Sorry about the pause at the start of the video. I, my microphone was muted. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it just mutes itself. You have to check. Hopefully it wasn't muted last episode. I don't think it was, but... And then you never know. It just sneaks up on you sometimes. So... I went ahead and I got the Ascendian. I've also killed a few creatures. Now where would I have put the string? Uh, I guess I used all the string, huh? To build the uh, crossbow. Alrighty. But we have our obsidian now. Put in this chest just because it's a little bit more special than just some kind of normal rock. Even though technically it is pretty much just a rock. Let us build our enchanting table now. Have to be over here. What you want? You want a book. Easy money. That, uh, luckily you only need one, so even though it's a little bit harder to build, it's also good enough. Uh, I'll toss it here. You want some space around it so you can surround it with bookshelves. I could probably actually build a bunch of bookshelves right off the bat, because we have lots of paper. And we can throw our diamond pickaxe in, and if we had lapis lazuli, we'll have some options. Efficiency 1, efficiency 1, efficiency 1. Okay. Let's, let's look up how to build a bookshelf real quick. I think we've done it once before, didn't we? Just books and wood. Easy money. We can pop back down here. Toss the obsidian away because we don't need it for anything else. We'll keep the diamonds because we are going to build some diamond tools. A bunch of sugar cane. And we convert it into paper. That's why we've been saving sugar cane all this time. Now we need leather. It should be up here. Look. It's three books, so Build like 21 books. Actually, that's exactly right. Let's just do that. Okay, bookshelf. There we go. We'll probably end up blocking the windows anyway, but for now we don't have to. Yeah, now there's all sorts of knowledge leaping in from these bookshelves. And now... Should be cooking with fire by a bit. We have a lot of uh, XP. It's definitely something we want to look at. We have level 3 already? I thought we needed like, way more bookshelves than this. <laughs> It's okay by me, I don't have to block my windows. I only get efficiency 2 on that. Crossbow, piercing, unbreaking. Obviously, we don't really want to enchant anything that's almost broken, but we can still, like, preview. It saves it for every single type of item. It's different every time. Efficiency 2. Arthropods. Knockback on my sword might be nice, just because I've been looking at that for a while as something that we might want. I'll just keep the Lapis Lazuli in there, because I'm not gonna... Oh, I can't. Fine. So we have some decisions to make. We also have iron, or diamonds, for other stuff. Get a... Now, Diamond Sword isn't going to have the same stats as an Iron Sword. It's random every time. Armor. Our Iron Armor's been holding out for a really long time, so I don't think I want to mess with it. 
shields get enchanted? No. Be awesome if they could. Hmm. We just have so few diamonds that we have. I'm very peculiar about what I want. Oh, hey, actually, we have a whole extra iron sword here. Let's just do that right off the bat. Give me the knockback one sword. You can't enchant it again, but you can combine it with things that have been enchanted otherwise. Alright, got a sword with knockback. That's going to make me pretty happy. And now everything else should be refreshed. Fortune 1. 14 levels. Actually, that didn't cost us any levels. I thought the number to the right is how many levels it costs you to do it. Maybe your first enchantment's free. <laughs> or maybe just the iron sword is a lot cheaper. No. So two, piercing two. It is a good thing to have on the crossbow. But I don't know if it's like the most valuable thing we've ever seen in our life. Might as well take all of our armor off and take a peek at it. To protection to to this hesitant to do it on iron stuff. Is there anything else we need diamond for, like, very specifically for stuff? Yeah. I don't think so. I think at this point it is just something to build tools out of, so we just have to decide what tools we want to make. Obviously we have a sword now. An axe is pretty tempting. Five left if we did that, but I could also get like a a diamond chest plate. Could use all my diamonds. What the heck? Why does it look so weird? I mean, that's pretty strong. I've enjoyed this mod till now, but this just doesn't look very good. Hmm. You might have to get a different resource pack, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we don't have to look at ourselves, luckily, so... I think getting Unbreaking 2 on this would probably be a pretty good start. Breaking makes it so it's less likely to take uh, durability damage when it's hit. It's not co so is it the stuff on the left side that's costs? I think the number on the right side is how many levels you have to have for it to unlock. And then the number on the left is how many levels it takes to make. But still, it's kind of caught me off guard that I can actually just keep doing stuff. Maybe they changed it recently or something. I think efficiency 2 on our pickaxe is probably a good idea. I kind of think we keep going. Obviously, the iron chest plate is kind of. Yeah. 
feather falling. I feel like that's rare. So let's make a new pair of iron boots. Because they'll, they'll still have the same thing, and also we have infinite iron. And then we'll give those feather falling. It just seems like that would be pretty useful. Alright, now we're getting geared up. Now we're ready to do some serious stuff here. <laughs> oh, buddy. The game's gonna regret all the jump scares it's been giving me. <laughs> Alright, this stuff pretty much trash at this point. It's a little bit of a hard sell to convince me, like, the Iron Sword or something is worth enchanting. I also don't know exactly when we're gonna get a full set of iron- or full set of diamond armor. For. On the iron stuff, we would probably prefer like a uh, straight protection upgrade as opposed to unbreaking. And breaking, we really want on our diamond stuff. Why? It's also built for the male model, so using the female model here doesn't even it doesn't fit. Kind of a weird choice graphics pack. I was really liking this one too, but man, that's that really bothers me. Okay, we also need a little bit more blue here. Just in case it becomes relevant. Alright. Obsidian. We also need Flint and steel. Because it is about time. Build the nether portal. Now specifically I wanted to build like the building we put it in out of granite. Just because it seems like it'd be more sturdy material. was that noise? <laughs> Is that just the regular? That was not a cave noise I'm used to hearing. It kind of really creeped me out, but that's that's okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was very... Strange sound effects. I wonder if it knows that I'm about to make the nether portal, so it's trying to like trip me up. Alright. So things can come back out of the nether portal. And it usually doesn't matter, but at the same time, I think it might be a good idea to build it a little bit away from home. Here, or maybe there. One of these things where we're not really going to be able to move it, so I don't really want to put it in a terrible spot. Eh, that seems okay, though. Kind of. Let's add this out a little bit. I also wanted to polish this stone before we used it. 
So I want to make a fairly interesting building to put it in. Just for the sake of visuals. Granite, I figured we'd turn into like polished granite. Diorite. Side. Uh, obsidian, please. That'd be very bad. We may need it for something else. I'll save the last piece of diorite for something else. Uh, put the wheat sets away. Be a square ring. Not quite. Okay, I think we want to build the portal itself, like here. Might be overcomplicating it. <laughs> I'm trying to do something cool with it, but we're gonna be using this to transport things all over the map. Sometimes just having a better way forward and back can be better. granite, so I don't know if I want to use it for more of this build. Here, like it's very secure, contained. Just want to put the fencing around it. Oh. 
Really? <laughs> Come on. Take a quick sleep here. Run. So many achievements got done all at once, huh? <laughs> obsidian to do that. I think we do. I decided to go with a larger portal instead of a smaller one. Just like I said, this is going to be like our main nether portal, and it's going to be fairly important that it's larger. And we might have to knock this entrance out at some point, but that's okay. put windows here. Windows are obviously like not super secure. I guess I could do like iron bars. And that would look a little more secure. Oh, I got plenty of obsidian actually. In fact I don't even have to do the corners with this like I was gonna do. cave sound effect to scare you. <laughs> Alright. Like the house, I'm just trying to design it in a way that looks interesting. So it might be logical. We need a portal for the way out. I think it makes its own portal, but you may want to hold on to obsidian just in case that we need a way out of the nether. Diamond pickaxe will probably be left at home. We're not going to leave just yet, but I want to make sure I'm only taking what I like really need. Out of my 
have special types of rocks, though. <laughs> so the roof led to me, it was some kind of cobblestone. That's okay. Maybe I'll make the cobblestone to some bricks. There's a way to make polished stone, though. Yeah. Or not polished stone, but stone bricks. Hold on. It's not brinks, but obviously it's not there either. Minecraft. What the heck? Crap. Four by four of stone gets you stone bricks, okay. And we still want to do this anyway. Oh, we should have milled our, uh... bar as well are out here. And an iron door, actually. And then probably also an iron button. Doors. Button. Make an iron button. I guess I'll make a stone button. iron that we can do stuff like this now without really worrying about it. I can't remember exactly how iron doors will function. I feel like they don't open by right clicking on them. I feel like you have to uh... that does not look secure with this mod on. <laughs> See, I can't open it, so. That was correct. Oh, it shuts behind you, too, so you don't need it both ways, really. Well, no, you do both, need it both ways. Cool. Definitely gives you a sense that it's very secure. <laughs> Even if it's not really. Well, I guess it is. Nothing's gonna get out of there. Other than, like, a ghast. I also might not be big enough for a ghast to get through anyway, and they also don't, like, seek it out unless you try to force them through, really. I need to build my inn for the villagers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, I can get a lot more. Bang from my buck out of slab, so it might just like slab the roof. Let's 
instead of staring it. Really just waiting on those stone blocks to get done being made. But we're about out of time for this video. In the next one, I think we'll head over to the nether. I'll also just finish this build off camera. Until then, if you enjoyed the episode, remember to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.